You own a taco truck that's open 24-7, and you manage five employees who run it. Employees work solo, eight-hour shifts. You decide the best way to set their schedule for the upcoming week is to create a bunch of random schedules and select the one that looks best. You build a 1000 by 21 array of random employee IDs, where element IJ gives the employee ID working shift J for schedule I. A schedule is valid as long as no employee works two consecutive shifts. Get the row index of all valid schedules. All right, let's see the solution that I came up with. And let's go ahead and break it down. So we want to compare adjacent values in each row and make sure that no two neighbors are the same. So for example, here you can see employee ID zero works these two consecutive shifts for the first schedule. So this is going to be an invalid schedule. And there's 21 columns, which means that we want to compare 20 pairs of adjacent elements for each row. Now we can do that by picking out the first 20 columns and comparing that to the last 20 columns. In other words, the matrix that's offset one column to the right. So to do that, well, to pick out the first 20 columns, we can say schedules square brackets colon comma colon negative one, which means pick out every row and every column up to but excluding the last column. And we'll check for not equals. So then we pick out the last 20 columns. And we can do that by saying square brackets colon comma one colon, which means give me every row, but only the columns starting from index one up until the end. So when we run this, we get a big Boolean array. It's a 1000 by 20 Boolean array. And then the true values are good. The true values mean that the adjacent uh, employee IDs are not the same. So we want to identify rows where every value in the row is true. That means it's a good schedule. So what we'll do is we'll use the all function and we'll say np.all and then we'll pass in what we just built and we want to do it for each row so we'll say axis equals one because we want to check that the values are all the same or all true across axis one so when we run this what we get is we get a big 1d boolean array it's a 1000 by array of boolean values so then the good schedules are going to be identified by true values in this array and if you remember, false and true are synonymous with 0 and 1. So we can actually use the mp.nonzero function to pick out all non-zero values, which, again, for a Boolean array, it means it's picking out the true values or the indices of true values. So we'll say mp.nonzero. And the non-zero function actually returns a tuple where it has one element for each dimension in the given array. In this case, we only passed it in a one dimensional array. So we want to pick out the first element of the result. And that'll give us the indices of valid schedules.